In this question, we're given a triangle um, with uh, three sides. This is a scalene triangle. It has uh, no particular shape. It's not an isosceles triangle. It's not equilateral, and it's not necessarily a right angle triangle. And we'll give it uh, the sides of six, seven, and eight. And we're being asked to find out what is the area of this triangle. It's not going to be immediately apparent, but as you'll remember, the area of a triangle is given by the expression or by the, the formula. The area is equal to one half the base times the height. In this case, we can assign the eight as being the base, but we really don't know what the height is. Uh, we're given the other side, but not the height. So uh, it's, this formula cannot be applied immediately. We're going to have to work out uh, what the height is in order to be able to come up with the answer. So in this kind of a question, it's good to start by perhaps drawing uh, in roughly what that, uh, what that height is going to be. And also give it a label, H. So that being the height, this will be uh, right angles. The next step is to figure out what in this triangle, what this distance is going to be. Well, we, we can't figure it out directly, but we know that we can assign it a, uh, an unknown, so we'll call it X. The first step past this is to decide in this triangle, the triangle on the right-hand side, what the distance will be from here to here. Now, it's going to be less than 8 by the amount of X. So we can now say that it, it is 8 minus X. That's what this distance is from there to there. The next step is we can look at uh, the, the figure as it stands there and we can see that there are two right angle triangles uh, that make up the full area of the, the given triangle. So the first right angle triangle is, consists of X, H, and 6. So we can apply the Pythagorean theorem to it. So let's do that. Uh, we can say that this is the hypotenuse, so 6 squared is equal to h squared plus x squared. In this the next triangle here, with, on the right-hand side, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem to that as well, which would be 7 squared equals h squared plus 8 minus x, all squared. <coughs> and the next step would be to expand this out. So that uh, we'll just do this next equation. Uh, we'll leave it at 7 squared equals h squared plus 8 times 8 to squared is 64 minus 16x plus x squared. Uh, the next thing that we can do is we can uh, we want to find out what the x is so we can use simultaneous equations. We can subtract this equation from this one because we have got an x squared in both and so if we do that subtraction we will we'll, we can expand this out when we do the next step uh, so we have 7 squared which is 49 um, and then on this side we have 6 squared and that's going to be subtracted this whole equation can be subtracted from this equation so the 6 squared becomes minus 36 then we have equals and this one here uh, we're going to be subtracting it from this one, so it's going to be um, this h squared remains, but we're subtracting this h squared, so they will disappear. And we have plus 64 minus x squared minus 16 x and plus x squared. So the next step would be to get rid of the h's because they're uh, one of the h squared is subtracted from h squared. And likewise here, we have a minus x squared and a plus x squared, so we can just subtract those. We can do this, uh, 49 minus 36, which is 13, equals this h squared, and this one cancel out, and this x squared, and this one cancel out. So we have 64, that remains, minus 16x. So the next step we can do is solve for x. So doing that, we have, we'll transpose this to this side, so it becomes 16x equals 64 minus 13, which is equal to 51. So that means that x is equal to 51 divided by 16. And I'll work that out in the calculator. 
51 divided by 16 equals 3.1875. All right. Some of the extra figures, and uh, we've come to the point that x is equal to 3.1875. Now we can take a look at uh, this triangle to find out what h is, because we know what x is, and we know that we've been given the 6, so we're looking for uh, the value of h. So h squared is equal to 6 squared minus x squared. Continuing on, is equal to 36 minus 3.1875 squared. So let's work out what that is on the calculator. h squared equals 36 minus 10.160. And doing that math, 36 minus 10.16 equals 25.84. And that's the h squared. So h is equal to the square root of that, which is 5. 0.083. All right, having found that, we can now go back to this equation to find the area. So I'll start up here. The area is equal to one half the base, which is 8, times the height, which is 5.083. Now I'll work that out. That is equal to, the area is equal to 4 times. 5.083, which equals 20.332. And that's the, the final answer. Briefly going over the steps that we took to solve this problem. We, we knew from before the equation for the area of the triangle, given the base and the height. But we weren't given uh, the height, we knew the base. So the first thing that we did is we drew in the height and gave it a, a, a variable name, or gave it, a, gave it a letter to define what it is. Then we took a look at uh, the base, which is uh, this full amount, and we needed to find out um, what this part of it was, so that we could analyze this triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. So we assigned it a, a name as well, x, and then it became pretty clear that the remainder of this base uh, would be 8 minus x. The next step that we did is we uh, used the Pythagorean theorem to uh, write a, 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 an equation including these two unknowns and this one known as one equation uh, based upon the Pythagorean theorem. And then we did it again using this second triangle on the right. Uh, in this case we have x as well but including a number and we're also using that same, uh, the same height. So we have two <clears throat> two different equations um, with two unknowns, so we can go ahead and solve for them. We, we can uh, write them as simultaneous equations, each one of them being the Pythagorean theorem. And uh, then, because we have two simultaneous equations with two unknowns, we can then find all of the values in uh, those two simultaneous equations, which we did. And then extracting the h from it, we uh, put that into the, the general formula for the area of a triangle, and in that way we came up with an answer. So the next step is for you to try one yourself, and so on the next screen you'll see an example which you should do as an assignment.